Hello ladies and gentlemen, oh, greetings Mac Warriors. This is TTB speaking. Welcome back to Mac Warrior Online and today we are running the Hammer of the Gods, Mjolnir, Thor's Hammer, the Grasshopper Hero Mech Edition. And we're here on River City, slowly but surely, moving towards Echo 5 because I saw somebody trying to flank our heavies and assaults. And we can't let, let, let that happen. And there is our target actually, an Arctic Wolf, Blood Kid. Okay. Uh, Let's see how bloody he will be after getting a little bit of ye old LB-10 and some ER medium lasers to the back. Here we go. Burn him and then we shoot him a little bit with the shotgun because that is the way we deal with people down here in Echo 5. Okay. He's dead, let's keep on moving towards the team and let's talk about the build for a second. As you can see, we're running an LB-10 in the arm and we're running 6 ER medium lasers and that gives us a good range of about 360 to 400 meters where we can safely engage with all weapons and That's shoot the enemy. I'm moving forward right now to join our teammates in the uh, Gulf 6 area and then we'll either push left side or right side, I guess we will shine out very very shortly. See some targets to the left, so maybe pushing right side is the better option here. There is an enemy direwolf coming in right now and we can go ahead and give him a nice little burn on the side torso as well as lay into him with the LB-10 doing nice amounts of damage and making sure that he doesn't have full armor for when the fight actually happens. Actually as you could see there right now um, for a quick split second his side torso is already open and my airstrike actually hit as well. So. Let's see what we can do over here. I'm just gonna go jump up here and then heighten this little crook here, uh, this little nook, and try and see if we can shoot some enemies crooked. Unfortunately, we can't. What we do see, however, is an enemy linebacker coming in here. And uh, problem was that my arm weapons are fairly slung low, so I had no chance of actually hitting this guy with my LB10 at this moment. But that's fine. That's fine. We scared him off. He is very damaged right now. He's gonna think twice about engaging us. There's an enemy timber wolf around the corner. If the team pushes now, we can easily help them out. However, as you can see, the team is exerting zero pressure at this moment. And that means I need to have I need to hang back. There is no way for me to go in right now. It would be suicide. So you need to wait, bide your time, take a few pot shots here and there, shoot some stuff, and then at the opportune moment, then you go in, for example, on a direwolf. Perfect. He wasn't looking at me, he was looking at his teammates, and we can go ahead and just lay into him. However, the team of the other side is actually laying into me right now, so I just jumped down. Um, hey, what are you doing, dude? Hello. Look at me. Yes, yes, look at me, and we just run away a little bit right now. Okay. Lots of targets for him to shoot. That's perfect. We can just give him a parting gift with our ear mediums. Cool down a little bit. And then, you know what? Let's go back to the well. Let's get up here again and do some more damage. The good thing is we are right in the enemy's back if they decide to push through that little space in between the buildings right here. There's a Timberwolf again. Can we go ahead and get the kill shot? Hello, little Timberwolf. Yes, we can. And then suddenly die wolf. And, uh, well, he's not fresh anymore. It's just half a die wolf, but that is very, very dangerous. Still with 30 damage from his LB-10 and LB-20. So I think the smart move is just to wait a little bit. Wait for a friend, because as Bob Ross says, everybody should have a friend. My friend right here is the Thunderbolt, and he's gonna help me to push down that Daishi and CT red, and he should be CT dead any second. There we go, perfect. Now we can go in on Juliet that killed himself, okay. Fine by me. He melted through his own CT, and then there was only two targets left. Something light and small that just died over in Fox 6, and the last target is over there in the enemy city, Echo 7, and it is... what is that? What are you? Hunchback 2C. Okay. I wonder what kind of weapons this guy has. Maybe ER lasers? Let's have a look. We should get some target information momentarily, and then we will be able to take him out. So we shoot him once and then we turn sideways because our city is open. He's got lerms. Whoa. Okay. And of course he's lerming me. But guess what? I'll kill you before you take me out. Yeah, there you go. Tumbling down the rock side. That is perfect. I hope that hurt. Dirty lermer. And of course, always on me. Little old me. Okay. Well, that was an, a successful test of this build. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Nice game. 
3 killing blows, 6 assists, 2 solo kills, 2 kill most damage dealt, 7 components taken out, 828 damage done. Yep, I would say that was a successful first test of the Mjolnir. Okay, moving into the second match, we are here in Caustic Valley and the Lurms are flying. Well, not this time, this uh, wasn't Lurms, as you could see from the trajectory, that was actually ATM, so that's fine. Let's see if we can help out our teammates over here with that enemy linebacker. Team is asking for assistance and we shall give it a jump up and then lay into them with a little bit of weapon fire. Unfortunately, as you can see right there, the low slung arm mount means that you have to be very careful and shoot that LB-10 well, quite early, otherwise you will have problems of getting it into target and you don't want that. So. Make sure to shoot the LB-10 first and then lead up with the lasers, not the other way around, even though it's tempting. Well, at least the airstrike hit. Oh, sorry teammate, I didn't want to block you here. And I failed to hit the linebacker properly, just grazed him a little bit with lasers. That's fine though. We're still in the very early stages of this match and the team is a little bit scattered. As you can see, our assaults are fighting in Delta 5 and we are kind of bogged down here in Echo 4 with some teammates and... Uh, Let's see what we can do over here. As an Atlas DDC, that is a primary target for us, of course. And the good thing is, we are a grasshopper. We hop over grass and then shoot things. If they're not too far down, so we can't shoot them. But technically, yes. Okay, well, let's try that one again. Jump over here and then lay into the Atlas and give him some love. One more shot should take out his side torso. And that will not be good for him. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Took away his SRM-6. Liberal pack, perfect. Now that's an Orion 2C coming in and he is going ham. Uh, I hope he's not going ham on me. Nope, he's not. That is perfect because I can't take this dude. He just goes and overheats. We'll just casually walk in and help murder him. Okay. Whoa. And then suddenly Atlas. Oh, that was the guy from before. He's dead. Perfect. Okay. Let's go in on the Jäger mech. Charlie, he's running small lasers and rotor AC5s. That's good for me. We can just go ahead and... Not hit with that shot, and yeah, okay, okay. I don't want to get massaged by you, good sir. I don't trust you. I don't, I don't trust you. So, go massage somebody else, please. Like literally, go massage somebody else, please. Whoa. He really likes his battery X fives, and apparently he really likes me. Not anymore though. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to massage somebody else though. Okay, I don't get, I don't get that image out of my head right now, so it'll stick for me. Uh, stick with me for a minute. There we go, Yegamek finally dies, 6 kills to 3, so we're starting to really win this game, but it's still far from over. So let's push in with our teammates, we are still fairly fresh and we can make use of that by just pop tarting a little bit more, but then of course later on also tanking a little bit. That Atlas apparently was an XL engine boar's head. That is not the best use for a boar's head, ladies and gentlemen. The mech doesn't have armor bonuses, so you don't want to go XL with that thing. Okay, high number 2C, that is a scary target, he's got ATMs and medium pulses, I need to buy one of those, oops, uh, unfortunately I grilled the back of our teammate there a little bit, sorry buddy, and let's just go in on Echo, yeah, he's got no chance, in hell, on this hellish map, he's just gonna die to our concentrated fire, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut down in the face of victory, so somebody else can get the kill, because heat management is poor. And let's see, a hunchback, still alive, with medium lasers, we'll probably not be able to catch him, unfortunately. Nope, doesn't look like it, he's just running away from us, he doesn't want to meet the TTB Mjölnir. And the last target, well, where is he? And what is he? Questions upon questions. Who and what are you? Where do you come from, where do you go to? Also, why do I switch on night vision? These are the things that move you. Okay, well, uh, Anatoly apparently decided to uh, kill himself. Like a true samurai. Oh my. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard of this one. Zero killing blows, nine assists, two kill most damage dealt, three components taken out, and the devil's own 666 damage done. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Unfortunately, no kills, but you know what? That's fine, it happens. Okay, let's have a quick look at the build Light Engine 320 
6 ER medium lasers to bring the burning, and then an LB10 with 3 tons of ammo to make sure that we can crit out all those open up components, put most of your armor up front, and uh, make sure to put in 4 jump jets so you can jump around. Of course, with heat sinks, double heat sinks, and endo steel structure, those are a must have. And there you have it, the Mjolnir with LB10. Hope you enjoyed this build. Let me know how it turns out for you in the comments down below. This has been TTB. See you guys soon. Savage. Love the idea of killing LRM boats slowly and painfully. I think I'll start doing the same. Baked potatoes!